Hello, it's Edwina from My Craft Orchard. How are you? So today I thought I would show you my stencil collection um, and how I'm storing it. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, recently I've done a couple of unboxings um, from Upsa Daisy and she has um, stencils in the subscription boxes and she sells stencils and all those sort of things so obviously the last couple of weeks I've had new stencils <laughs> um, so I thought I'd show you how I store them so let's have a look so this is my folder and it is a A5 ring folder it's just a plastic thing it was cheap it's you know it's nothing fancy and in here um, I have all, all sorts of letters, um, those are the monthly ones that I'm using, uh, weekly ones, um, I do actually have um, a video showing how I've used this stencil with the honeycomb which is brilliant, it really works lovely as a tracker, uh, oh weather, months, more letters, do like a stencil for lettering, I cannot Stent, uh, letter with Tombow River pens all those sort of the brush pens it really is not something I like or want to do and stencils really do work um, to give you your bullet journal or your, your planner just that extra little bit of panaz let's say um, um, the ones that I use quite a lot are at the front of this folder and then as you go through um, I have quite a few others and then I've got some cardboard ones here uh, which came with a bullet journal kit um, and some more that have come with sort of planners or kits and that sort of thing and then I've got some more here which are slightly smaller than the A5 um, which I had all oh, way back oh, about three years ago when I did start bullet journaling so I've kept them all and I've done some swaps I think that was a swap with my sister um, with the animals um, my son quite likes those I have to say uh, mind you who doesn't like an animal and then I've also got some uh, other stencils which were are for um, inking so you, you, you lay the, the stencil down and then you ink over the top and again I've got one of my very first videos I ever made was actually using um, uh, this this heart one here um, I used that heart one um, and did a, a I've got a video showing that I'll link everything below um, where I've used my stencils okay so what I thought I'd show you is what I've done basically so it's a ring binder it's only two rings a5 size and what I was doing before was I was literally storing all of my um, stencils like this okay and then I was having to flip through to find the one I wanted like that it's a bit time consuming you can't actually see the stencil properly so what I decided to do is put them into folders so then the dilemma was how am I going to see the stencil if I put that on a white piece of paper it's just not going to show up I think you can just about see that but you put it on a light background it's just not very easy to see so I had a load of this orange paper which I don't use for journaling or junk journals or anything and I thought that would be perfect so it's a way of using up some of your stash um, stuff that you don't use but is nice and bright so all I've done is cut an A4 piece of orange paper in two so it's A5 I've then got um, a plastic sleeve which I insert the piece of paper in and then you can put your stencil in and the beauty of this is if you turn it over 
you can then put another stencil in the other side. Like that. Okay, so you've actually got two in the same sleeve. You could use black because that shows up really well as well. Basically any colour paper that shows your stencils up and then as you're flicking through and going right I, I need a, a word stencil or I want a tracker stencil it's just very easy to pop. So there you have it. Here's an idea for how to store your stencils. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Minecraft Orchard, where skills and ideas could grow. Bye.